A Pac-Man version Ike? Yes, okay. Now we know Sinji's a very, very, very talented player. Dev Singh with his Pac-Man can set up so easily. He always, feels like his opponents always kind of um, fall into his, his setups. And you don't want Sinji to do that, but I might be talking a little bit too fast because Sinji's right now at 40%. <laughs> yeah, right now it's... Uh... Pac-Man is such a good character for controlling the pace of the game. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be on Mega to uh, really slow his play, slow their play down, um, be patient, not do the things that Pac-Man wants you to do. Because mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of Pac-Man's kit is focused around that sort of conditioning, putting certain elements on the stage that you know make you want to do certain things to them, like you know yeah. putting the hydrant down. A lot of people want to attack that, and that's what the Pac-Man wants you to do. And you see that you always see Sinji around that, that Hydrant, because he knows you're going to hit it. Yeah, Ooh, um, but neutral get-up, though. Mega is ready for it with the F-Tilt. Always it, wanting to hit it. Not a whole lot of percent on Mega right now, so this is a chance to um, rack up the percent, make Pac-Man play from behind. I really like the patience for Mega right there. He's yeah. actually just crouching, waiting for, waiting to see what Sinji wanted to do in that situation. Ooh, but the bell. Oh, but the bell, yep. And that's, that's the stuff I was talking about. Like, it's like Sinji knew who's, he's going to avoid or parry those Hydrant um, and use Bell. Stun him, and there's an easy stock. Mm -hmm. it's like the, that's the kind of stuff you just want to avoid with any kind of Pac-Man that knows what they're doing. Because that Hydrant is basically, hey, here's a fishing hook, uh, hook onto it. Please hit this. Please hit this so I can hit you with a fruit. And I'm just being a little bit more careful, but... Alright, I like the yeah. weaving around the Hydrant, getting that Ike up air. Mm -hmm. Trying not that Hydrant out of the way. Yeah, I feel like Mega has actually been going for the Hydrant uh, a bit. Ooh, actually, yeah, right there, it did. he did get punished for it. Mm -hmm. But contrary to what we've been saying, I feel like Mega's been doing a pretty good job of hitting the Hydrant when it's safe. Yeah. So, like, one of the second time, or one of the times he hit the Hydrant, he, he made sure Sinji was either behind him or, like, way away from the Hydrant, so that way there's no kind of punishment in, in his, in, to come back to him. Mm -hmm. He's being so patient. Out of shield, getting Sinji some space, mm -hmm. setting up the pack fortress. Nice, caught his jump out of the corner. No, oh, excuse me, he has to be careful. Yeah. You're very just, dead, yep. Just stay at the, at the ledge way too long. Invincibility wears off. Yeah, especially at that high percent. Mm hmm. Now, I, I personally understand Mega because I did not think Bell would hit the ledge from there. Just you know, Sinji throwing it down. I feel like there but, was a. I'm sorry. I, I think there was like a match recently as you know where kind of the same thing happened where one packs like fruits or his bell hit him off a ledge and it was just like wait, what? The hitbox actually exists for that. Mm -hmm. So it was just very confusing. So now I think just Sinji just knows the hitbox of his uh, fruits. Yeah, I mean Sinji's such a seasoned player, mm -hmm. so it's something to expect. Ooh, a bit of a overeager dash attack from Mega right there. Have to be careful. Yeah, I don't want to see Mega hold forward too much. Mm -hmm. You know, being eager for that kill because being up a game against Sinji is, you know, it's fantastic. But you know, Sinji's not gonna make it easy right now. Now they're just waiting. <laughs> for Bell. I noticed Sinji was doing some geometry in his head, make sure that it was gonna oh. hit. I honestly thought Sinji was going to throw the apple into Mega right there, which would have hit him into the Hydrant. Mm -hmm. Great oh, parry. Great parry. That great parry saved parry. you. That great parry was spacing. great. That was a great parry. He he really just punished him for her, for that attempt. Was it Apple he was trying to throw? Uh, it was Bell, actually. Was Bell. So that was, that was for game. And here we see that setup with the hydrant. Mm -hmm. And he keeps hitting it, but he's he was playing much, much safer. Oh, I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> but with the hydrant, he was playing much safer by trying to hit it from very far away. Mm -hmm. 
And I mean, Ike's one of the characters who can do that. Mm -hmm. Nair is still a, you know, still a safe, safe-ish move. And it's got all that range. So he's going to be able to take care yeah. of it from fairly far away. And there's away. That, ledge, that ledge kill. He yeah. just stood there for way too long. I think he's yeah. trying to discern what to, to roll in to neutral get up or jump. And we're going right back to PS2, mm -hmm. which I agree from Sinji. Uh, you know, he was doing good at the end right there. Great air dodge. Yeah. That really could have been the end, truly. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, Sinji had a lot of momentum at the end of game one. It was, you know, one hit away. And, you know, the PS2 platforms just give give Pac-Man a lot of a lot of free real estate. A lot of free real estate. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Because he can go up here and just really set his hydrant wherever he wants. Mm -hmm. And I mean, especially the PS2 platforms, you know, they make it that much harder to approach Pac-Man from the air. Mm -hmm. And Mega's keeping Pac-Man at bay by trying to keep him off the, off the stage. Well, right now we're still seeing Mega being the one with momentum. Mm -hmm. uh, just kidding. Oh. That was a, a funny joke I just played. You're so funny. <laughs> and cracking him all night. <laughs> and I'm going to try to keep it even. Take that stock off of uh, Sinji and put this game, this game back into neutral. Ooh, that's big oh. damage. And, you know, this is... I think what we don't want to see from Mega is, you know, getting too eager for that kill. I think we saw that a little bit in stock three of game one. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think he... Ooh. he yeah, he's definitely trying to pursue that, that kill. And he needs to just be patient and remember that what he was doing in the previous game was what was working. Because now he's really desperate for that stock kill that he just got. There we go. But now he's at such a disadvantage because he's at 101% to and Sinji's hat just lost his first stock. Yeah, I'm actually surprised he didn't get uh, punished for the Hydra mm. hit, but getting and hit with the that bell. bell. All right, I like the ether. Uh, getting that super armor to get through the myriad of hitboxes mm -hmm. that Sinji was throwing out. Uh, Pac-Man dash attack in general you know, can be a pretty difficult move to deal with, so having a move with super armor, great for that. With Mega trying to even it back out. Sinji's Playing doing, it very safe. Sinji's doing such a good job of when Mega hits the um, the hydrant of neutralizing the hitbox. Um, because I would not expect Pac-Man Fair to just be able to stop the hydrant hitbox, but Agreed. Sinji knows better than I. Oh, definitely better than I. <laughs> Mega shielded the Hydrant, but I, he thought it was his turn. Sinji was mm -hmm. coming down with the down air. Again, the Hydrant's being a, a trick. Yeah, right. Just bait. Right there, it's big neon sign. Please F-tilt me. Please make a commitment. There we go. Speaking of commitment, though, mm -hmm. Pac-Man dash attack. It'd be difficult to deal with on shield, but if you're ready for it like Mega was. Ooh, that Ooh, was that a scary bell. bell. Now Finji's just waiting, yep. Oh, oh! It was just a little just bit too slightly high. slightly off. But that would have been game. Ooh! Using that super arm. Oh, wow. Ether goes through the bell yep. stun, too. I did not know that. Oh! The tiniest little tap of the F-tilt was enough to send the Hydrant flying. Mm -hmm. Very good play by both players. Again, I do think that Mega was trying to really solidify a kill and kept coming in at... Because here, Pac-Man is just so good at... Like, Pac-Man, I keep coming Pac-Man. <laughs> Sinji is really good at keeping Ike in the air and just telling him out of the screen. Just get into the blast zone. Be gone. <laughs> and here we go, back on PS2 for this third game. Ooh, all right, nice empty landing jabs. Mm -hmm. Getting a lot out of it, though. Pac-Man going to be able to fare out of the corner. Again, he has to be careful of that high drain. It's, it's a fishing hook. This is a fishing hook. Yeah, Saying no. bite me. I really liked what Sinji did there, where he, he used the back air and then immediately ran to the other side of the hydrant. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's so high percentage. Damage. You're committing to hitting the Hydrant again, even with an Ike down tilt. It's gonna be 
already taken damages. Yeah, see, yeah, I think he's trying. He's he's chasing him around, Ooh. and I think he needs to just ooh the bells in his hand. <gasps> oh! Oh, oh, he was no, stuck in the so end close. lag yep. of the F Smash for so long, not gonna be able to get anything out of it. Honestly, I didn't expect it to actually hit hit Pac Man. I would have had like a two second reaction time for that too. <laughs> like, oh my god, wait, <laughs> the bell. Again, just be careful that Hydra, it leaves him open for all of Pepin's attacks. Once the Hydra goes up, he's open. Yeah, I mean, especially where Sinji was positioned too, uh, like just underneath the platform. That Hydra's no danger to him whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And he knows this. Ooh. Oh, and that bell, that bell is done, yep. That'll do it. Ooh, all right, not gonna be able to do too much damage out of that. I don't think Sinji had the, he didn't have the Galaxian ready, he didn't have the Hydra out, and uh, I think Mega landed on the platform, which uh, yeah, he did. was a little ambiguous. I don't think he planned for it to happen. Ooh, oh, and Sinji keeps I don't him. think he has his jump. I think he's very dead. Yep. Ooh, Both just... jumps gone. Y'all, save your jumps, please. You guys hit that second jump, just in case. Well, and I think uh, we're starting to see that sort of over-eagerness from Mega that we were talking about before uh, countering at ledge there. Mm -hmm. When Sinji was the one on on the ledge. I didn't even notice that Sinji still has his, all three of his thoughts. Yep. Oh, Mega's trying to get oh. yeah, that's it. Mega was really fishing for that at least one stock kill, but Sinji just read all of it. Yeah, with the the hydrant slide in F smash. What is, what is this? I don't know if y'all hear the music, but hey, but either way, yes. Pac-Man. Just again, just setting up, and he's waiting for you to hit it, and then he's like, "Okay, I'm gonna come and fight you now." Yeah. And you're stuck in the the lag, the end lag of whatever attack he just did, whether it be a force smash, whatever. And yeah. Sinji's like, "That's a kill. I'll get you right now." <laughs> yeah, I mean, especially if you're Ike, you know, that's a big heavy sword you've got. It you're really be, is. You're gonna be stuck there for a while. 